After a particularly potent blast on the hook, you know, on Michael Rummage's uh, Into the Bottom of... Oh, he's got a very, very uh, trendy uh, Peace Corps issue day pack. Yeah, he rummages down in there, and uh, he brings up a bottle. <laughs> An Imperial Fifth of Shiva's Regal, age 12 years. Yeah, Michael says... Uh, to the Zalouest, uh, I admire your courage. Uh, I want you to have this. Unbelievable. Disbelieving Zalouest. Uh, bowing and uh, uh, profusely as she backs out of the room. Uh, she's pale. She's gone what, pale white. A whiter shade of pale. And she normally is. Uh, she hides the big bottle under her billowy caftan and heads to the fortified home of Bay, her baton boyfriend. Yeah. Surely a lightning bolt will strike her. This is too lucky. Uh, when Bay witnesses uh, his wife, uh, that who has holding up the Shiva's regal, a treasure to him. He laughs boisterously and mm, <laughs> wets his lips with lust. Um, to Bay, uh, uh, this imperial fifth of premium whiskey, well, it's like a million boxes of matchbox for a coochie nomadic desert kid out on the desert of death. Uh, well, um, they enjoy three shots of Shiva's Regal, straight shots, and doubles. Uh, uh, chase the hard liquor with this Frankincense scented spring water. Mm. Bay bear hugs his uh, outrageous uh, London girlfriend and twirls his uh, white genie around. It's like she's a little rag swirling derby doll. You know, she, yeah, right off her feet, just swirling it around, and around until her legs hit the uh, samovar. Knock it over. Well, what's a samovar? Samovar is a, an elaborate Middle Eastern contraption, originally from Azerbaijan, uh, that's used by Middle Easterners to boil water to make tea. It's in every house. Well, she knocks that over. <laughs> and and the, Bay and the hippie collapse onto a heap, onto the floor. They roll over and over again laughing hysterically in one another's arms. Well, the metal stovepipe that vents the samovar, there's no samovar underneath it anymore. <laughs> it falls out of the ceiling onto Bay and the Zado S. <laughs> They've never seen anything so funny. Yeah. Wow, that night, huh? Mm. One of those rare, unforgettable evenings in a lifetime when everything is harmonious and erotic. Following day, yeah, new, noon bus departs. Boom. The cannon goes up. For the Persian border uh, and quits the scintillating dust-dazed turquoise-glazed minarets of uh, Sultan Hussan Bukhara. Uh, the Zadar Queen, she's hauling her uh, overflow Peace Corps loot uh, toward the bazaar when she is waylaid by Bay. Wow, is he hungover. Uh, but his eyes are sparkling, and he says to his mate, uh, Come with me. My desert rose. Mm -hmm. Because I have a friend who will fix you. He is an assassin from the Archon 
student at the University of Machette. Yeah, oh, well, the mom baffles out, it goes with the flow, follows her broad-chested. Yeah, mate. In two, well, it's a typical Harati home, cedar beams, yeah, uh -huh, sun-dried brick, okay. Uh, Bay introduces Mohammed Rosa Shah to his lover. He's so proud, huh, of her. Uh, yeah, Mohammed was born in the village of Bang Lassi, near Mastuj, and Mohammed knows King Shireh personally. And Mohammed is already read amazing tales about the white Zadu S in letters from his beloved Yarkuni family. They're Persians, descended from the old man of the mountain, Hashishan, Persians, not Greeks like the Chitralis. Remember any of this? Um, yeah, he's an Ismaili Muslim follower of the Aga Khan, direct descendant of the old man of the mountain doing missionary missionary work. Mm-hmm. In Harad. Okay. What's that? 